Today, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you two different methods for creating a three-dimensional box. Uh, the first method is quite easy. You just want to go ahead and draw a, a square. Yeah? And uh, from the square, I'm going to make sure that I have no line. Yeah, Otherwise, my line color uh, defines the, the sides uh, of the side colors. Right? So I'm going to go ahead and draw my, my three-dimensional box and either click on this 3D um, button which opens the extrude tool or press E to open it that way. And I'm going to grab this uh, in the middle of, uh, of my square and just rotate it over a little bit to the left. Yeah? And uh, now you can see I have a, a something that's three-dimensional but it's not quite three-dimensional square. So I'm going to go ahead and grab on the side and drag out just a little bit until I get something that looks about the same size on both sides. And then I want to show the top of this too, so I'm going to grab the front of it again in the middle here and drag down slightly. And now I've got my three-dimensional box shape. Now, the the light sources don't look quite right, so if you don't have these open, just click on this button right here to show the lights. And you can drag these. These are all three-dimensional uh, arrows. drag them around a bit to get them to show up how you like them, right? So that looks okay. If I take those light sources off and just grab this, I can drag it. It's still a vector, right? So that's not too bad. Um, one thing that you'll notice here um, that I want to change, it's got these uh, rounded corners. Um, I can round them up even more, right? It's not something I wanted. Right, so if I take that off to, to none, then I have exactly square corners. Okay, So that's one way of doing it. <clears throat> the next way to do it is to use, um, is to draw it all yourself. Um, and this is actually quite easy in Zara. Uh, the first thing you want to do is show the grid. You can either do this by pressing the pound or number uh, sign on your keyboard, or this sign right here, or you can just uh, go to Window, Show Grid. Okay. And then from there, you want to go ahead and uh, go to your Utilities, Options, and under the Grid and Ruler tab here, you want to change this to Isometric. All right. Once you do that, you press Apply and OK, and it creates this isometric grid, which is uh, basically shows you uh, a, 3D, um, a 3D grid. Right, I'm going to go ahead and zoom into uh, one of these right here, and I'm going to use my shape editor tool to just go ahead and start drawing the sides. Right, and I'm just going to use these points as reference and draw a shape. And I'm going to start on the next shape. Something important for this um, is this shape is still selected until I've drawn at least a line, so you want to always draw away from the box that you had just drawn. Yeah, so now this box is selected until I draw a line over here, so I can just start here. Yeah, and now it's not selected because I have a, a line here. And then once I've done that, I have my three-dimensional shape here as well. And now I have complete control over each of the sides and how they look, and uh, which is, uh, you know, can be more important to you than, than uh, drawing something in, in uh, the, the 3D extrude tool and, uh, and not having as much control over how the sides look. So for this, I'm going to go ahead and apply some linear fills. I want to start from the middle here and go down to the corner here yeah, to get the, the look of the linear field fill being exactly parallel, right? If I, if I do it straight across, then you get this uh, triangle of, of fill here. It doesn't look quite right. So from the middle to the corner is the, the proper way to do this if my light source is coming from, from this direction, right? I'll show you the, my light source direction here. from that direction. So 
Let me go ahead and adjust this fill slightly. I don't want it to be completely white on this edge, so I'm going to give it a lighter blue there. All right. And I'm going to press escape to choose a different one. I want to fill here. So I've clicked on this on this uh, panel here, and I'm going to go again from the middle up to this upper right-hand corner. Yeah, gives me the type of fill that I want. And I press tab to select this this node, give it a lighter color again. Yeah, and that shows the light direction coming from each of those directions. Now, this side should see no light whatsoever, right? So we are going to give it a much darker fill. And there you go, that looks a bit more three-dimensional. Now let me zoom out to the page. And I'll increase this to a, a similar size, yeah? And there you go, you got your three-dimensional box here. Now I could play with this and get it uh, not quite so extruded and things of that nature, but uh, you get more or less the idea. This is a perfectly three-dimensional uh, as is this, and uh, but with this one you have, like I say, uh, much more control over over what uh, what you see. And you can always go to Window and Show Grid and turn the grid back off again. There you go. Okay, I hope that was informative and helpful, and I hope to see you back again next time.